What I have here is some type on these layers. So how do I undo a pre-compose or how do I un-pre-compose is what we're looking at. So I have a background, a layer solid. And what I want to do is I want to be able to pre-compose something and then kind of undo it, just not by doing command or control Z, but actually having it set. And then you know what? I don't want that pre-comp anymore. I'm too far in. How do I kind of bring it back? So this is what I'm going to show you. First, let's make the pre-composition. I'm going to select some type. I'm not going to select the background layer, just the type. I'm going to right click and I can go to pre-compose or I can go to layer, pre-compose, or uh, shift command C. And on a PC, it'd be slightly different with the control in there as well. So now what I could do, I'm just going to click on that pre-compose and I'm just going to name it properly. So this is like some type. So I'm just going to do that. Always name your comps. And here I'm just going to move everything over. And of course, it doesn't really have to adjust anything because the layers are the exact same times, like time length as the actual composition. So that's not really going to make a difference. I'm just going to press OK. So there I go. So my type is now in a pre-comp. You know, good idea to have it in a pre-comp. Potentially I can now actually move everything together. It's kind of like a grouped layer where I could actually say, you know what, I'm going to move it all together as a position or as a scale or whatever like that. So that's what a good, a good idea to pre-compose some things helps you animate in a different way. But what if I want to go into my pre-comp and I, should do I double click on it and it shows up here and it's also there in my project panel and I see all my layers that there they are. How do I undo a pre-compose with a question mark? Great. Well, what if I do want to undo this? I've done some work and all this and I don't want to go back using the undo. I actually just want to get these layers back into my main comp or even to another comp. Very simple. Just select into your pre-comp, select your layers, copy, go into the comp you want to place them in and paste. And that's it. There's your layers. They're back in. And now at the same time, they also remember the position that they were in as well, which is really great on my composition viewport here. But something different happened there. My type was a little bit different and laid out a little bit different. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to delete that. So if I go back to type now, watch right now, it says how is on the bottom, then do, then I undo, then a precompose, and then question mark at the top. Well, if I select the first thing I select will end up being the first thing on top when I paste it. So I'm going to select how hold on command or control on a PC and then do and I'm going to select them in this order. Now, when I copy them, command C or control C on a PC, go back to my uh, main composition. And when I paste them in command V or control V, they show up this way now. My first thing I selected ends up being the first thing on top, and then the second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh. Let me do that one more time. Go back to type. I'm going to select it from the top now this time from question mark and pre-compose, and I'm holding down command and just copying those, command C. Go over here again, paste, and now the question mark was on top just the exact way it was. Perfect. Now what if I do it a slightly different way? What if I instead click on do and then undo and then pre-compose and kind of mess around the way I selected them. Copy. They are going to be pasted in the exact same order I copied them in. So I'm just going to delete those. Now if I do an opposite way, command A and just select everything or control A on a PC. When I select it that way, if I paste them in, it pastes them in the way that they were. Oh, I don't think I actually did that properly. I'm just going to command a copy. I forgot to copy and I'm going to paste them in command V and there they are. They, they are pasted the exact same way they showed up. So one more time, I'm going to have it come this way. This is going to be the first layer, second layer, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh copy and paste. And now they show up this way. So just that helps you understand how you could actually select layers in a certain way and have them paste in a certain way, which is pretty interesting here in After Effects. So hopefully that helps you understand how to pre-compose, how to un-pre-compose just by copying the layers back into your layer or in, sorry, into another pre-composition or any composition for that matter. And even selecting the layers in a certain way can show up in a different way in your compositions.